right, guys. So in August, I actually spent about $750 on PBNs just to see if it still works. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about the results today. Quick hint, majority of them, of them didn't work. And the ones that did, kind of surprising, not going to lie. They're not the most expensive, not the cheapest, somewhere in between. But I'm going to talk about that today. And uh, yeah, if you guys don't mind, the tax today to pay is if you can comment PBN because that helps out the channel a lot. And it keeps me keeps me going. You know, if you guys want me to burn money in the name of science, then go ahead and do so. And um, for the next couple of minutes, I'll be reporting my numbers from the day before, plus no creatine today, actually. So if you guys don't like people being transparent, then, you know, skip on ahead down in the, you know, timeline down below. All right. So yesterday we only did, let me see, $668 in total revenue. Um, that's up $70 from the day before, but you know, um, I think we might be on, on, on another way down. We got Amazon coming in at 1161 media vine at about $80 and the adult revenue source that we don't talk about at 1427. Yeah, not much to talk about. I guess, I think we can get on with the episode so we can, um, you know, save some time. So if you want to uh, sign up for the first link in the description today, you guys sent this sheet and uh, today is episode 324. You're going to want to sign up because uh, I don't know if you guys can see it on the on your screen, all the details here. Um, as you'll note, as you'll notice is uh, I actually didn't reveal the domains out of, you know, respect for the um, PBN owners. If you want to see full deliveries plus the... Um, domains and just to see them yourself, you're going to have to sign up for the advise community. It's right here, advise.so slash apply. The full reports will also be there, like the deliveries from the PBN uh, service providers. And yeah, we can talk about it today. So <clears throat> I think I should start off with the setup first and, um, and then we'll go on to the results. So all of the domains I picked are exact match domains. All of them target the same keyword. So um, I will have a primary keyword. I, I spell primary wrong, primarily for some reason. It's like, um, so same primary keyword, um, same secondary keyword. How we decide uh, what success looks like is if you rank for the primary keyword and if, if not, then secondary keyword will be taken into account. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they're all built on the same, you know, the same theme stack, quote unquote. They're all indexed and um, all the links we used, we used naked anchors. So for example, if what that means is if uh, we're building backlinks for indexy.com, the anchors linking to indexy.com will be indexy.com. It will look like this. Let me show you guys exactly. It look like it look like this. Hope that makes sense. All right, if that doesn't then you're probably in the wrong place. You got have, have to like brush up on your SEO knowledge. I'm sorry. Uh it is what it is. <clears throat> and the PBN providers that we tested are Kevin's PBN, which I talk about very often. Um, I, I'll probably link it here. One second. Um, one second. I'll link it right here. <clears throat> and what you get is a thousand PBM backlinks for $33. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just no like absolute garbage quality backlinks, but it's just the sheer amount makes it so there are use cases for it. And I've talked about it in the past, like for example, using it for citations, tier two, so on and so forth, all right? Number two, we got sarkerseo.com. We used their Galaxy private network. The cost was $270 for 36 links. Maybe I'll add a column of price per link, but I don't know, maybe I'll do that in a bit. Um, we got PBN.house, which is $90 for five links. 
Arch SEO, which is 260 for 18 links, and Socket Wahi at um, $110 for 10 links. Um, and just yesterday, the one from Arch, the domain I used for Arch SEO.com popped up. The primary keyword hit a high of 74. So it pretty much indexed at 74. Well, no, it just jumped to 74 from nowhere past page 10. And um, so that prompted me to say, okay, maybe I can just make a video on this because we're about two months in, right? September, October. Yeah. One, two, three, three, almost three months in. Um, and yeah, I think we should, we should talk about it. It's I know it's only two months. So I don't know what I'm saying, but I think it's worth reporting. You know, um, if anything changes, obviously I'm going to talk about it, but the only domain that has been indexed is the one from arch SEO. All right. If you want to poke holes in this experiment, you're going to have to look, look at the domain and you'd have to sign up for the advice so secret channel. Um, but I'm just reporting what I'm seeing. Everyone sees the domain. So I'm not like playing any games here. Um, so after it dropped out, so when I, when I first saw it ranking for uh, position 74 for the primary keyword, I was like, okay, um, let me do a refresh of the rankings. So it was refreshed like a couple, like 30 minutes ago, it dropped out back to back past page 10. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to add a secondary keyword with a, which is a longer tail. For example, if it's like, if the primary keyword is best protein powder, the secondary keyword would be like best protein power powder for seniors. And they all target it like that. That's it. Um, and lo and behold, the one from arch SEO was the only one indexed even in the top 10 pages at position 67. So that's why I'm, okay to make the video today. Uh, I think we're, how do I feel about this experiment? It doesn't feel good. I thought we would be able to rank higher for all of these because when I did my initial research on this keyword, it seemed pretty easy, but maybe it's not as easy as I thought. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. If there's anything else you want me to test, you know, like, I don't know, digital PR that requires a lot of money, I could be your guy. But the thing is, I won't be revealing, how do I say everything? Like, for example, I'll, I'll have to hide the domains because I got to somehow recruit my money. I'll be honest, like this $700 is not bad. I can just release it in the advice community. But um, if it's just digital PR, I don't know. Should I have five EMDs as, as again, and then try to do that again myself? I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think guys. And, um, let me answer some questions from the day before. There's only seven, uh, questions from yesterday. So I'm just going to answer them, but I'll try to go from members first, like James, thank you so much for the chapters again. Uh, quick note is that in about less than an hour, I will be doing a Q and a session for YouTube channel members only. So if you guys can make it on time, if I have released this video beforehand, please do so, you know, please sign up for the YouTube membership. All right. That's the only member question today. Impressive. I love that you share exact numbers regarding ETFs. I don't follow what exactly you buy, but S and P 500 isn't safe enough. Well, it depends on your risk tolerance. I'm pretty okay. Cause my time horizon is pretty long. I'm only 30 some early thirties, but lump sum doesn't beat monthly recurring. Actually it did at least for when I t back tested it. Um, lump sum beats monthly recurring by a couple points. Um, depends on your time horizon. I took five, 10, 20, 30 years. Take any date, like 15 of my, every month and take a look at these four. I don't even know what emerging market small caps world. Okay. Um, interesting. You have a pretty sophisticated, um, waiting. Took me years to figure out 
If you want, I can share my investment template with you. Just S and P 500 is very risky when talking about buying holds for retirement. Good luck. Thank you. Um, I think what you mean. Yeah, I, I think I get what you mean. I think maybe in, into my forties, I would start, um, offloading some of my in index funds like S and P into like, I don't know, probably once I get older, it'll be like a 60, 40, um, index fund to bonds ratio or something like that. But this is helpful. Thank you. Not sure why you don't aren't getting into municipal bonds. They have crazy yields and amazing tax benefits. You're getting the yield of a triple B bond, but with the risk profile of treasury since municipal are back are de facto backed by federal gov. Probably because I'm not American. That's why I don't think Canadians have that. Our bonds actually suck. Jackie, I'm stupid in investments, but I understand basic things. If you want to invest in a real business that will definitely not disappear, like parking lot in a big city, a local restaurant, a house, what do you think about investing in real business? The thing is with real businesses, um, the returns are priced in. So I, I have had this discussion with friends, right? So real estate, anything that gives a yield of more than 10%, I believe, unless there is something you know that others don't, unless there's like private info of a certain plot of land or a certain business that you know that others don't, uh, the market is pretty efficient with pricing that let's say you're like, Oh my God, this Airbnb and freaking I don't know, the, the country of Georgia returns 20% a year. Are you stupid? Why would you invest in S and P when the uh, Airbnb in Georgia returns 20% a year, you get your money back in five years. The reason for that is probably, there's like multiple reasons uh, for such pricing. Pro most like mo most of the time, what I'm seeing in overseas real estates is like uh, the liquidity liquid liquidity isn't there. For example, if you're buying a local restaurant, like the hottest restaurant in a small city, you may be able to buy it. You probably pay a premium for it, but then. If when you do want to offload it, dude, that, that spread is going to be disgusting. You probably won't make any money from it because, you know, people in that local town probably can't afford the restaurant. You know what I mean? It's just a cash flowing business. It's got to be a buy and hold forever type of thing. And depending on your yield of a restaurant at like maybe 10, 15%, you're, you get your money back in 10 years only. So, you know what I mean? Like everything's priced in. I, I believe the market is efficient. I'm not like... Yeah. Phineas says, I like all the testing of different content variety is the spice of life, right? Yep, exactly. That's why I'm doing it. Anyways, that's it for today. Hope you guys have a good Sunday. As you can see, back at home, hanging out with my parents, family day. You know, go call your parents, tell them that you love them and hang out with them. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.